Kimberly McAlinden here. I'm here to demonstrate the beautiful Lazy Daisy embroidery technique. This is on uh, the little girl's hat. Inner level. Back and forth, seamed up, and then we add these. You can actually wear it as is, or if you wanted to spice it up a little bit, just add these little daisies. So I'm gonna show you how to add them. I actually eyeballed where I wanted each daisy to look. I didn't want them to be exactly uniform and I didn't I honestly didn't want them to all look the same. So I changed the colors of the buttons. Some are yellow, some are this uh, pretty white. And uh, here I am ready to go for the next daisy. So here I have my uh, contrasting yarn which came from my stash. I can't even tell you what it is. Uh, and we go eyeball where we want our next daisy to be and we're going to go from the inside from the back side of the work to the front uh, and the only thing you have to remember with this big section is to kind of go in the middle kind of come out through the center in the center so we're going to come up through a stitch and we're going to leave a couple inches on the back and that's for later you'll see how we attach the button so I'm gonna hold it with my with my um, finger here in the back and we're going to take our yarn I hold it with my thumb and the purpose of that is because we're going to be making a loop or a petal we're going to stick our needle back down into the same exact hole that we came out of and we made a loop so now what we have to do is we have to tie this loop down. And the way that we do that is from the back to the front, we, we pull our, we bring our needle up. Now I'm still holding this in the back so that it doesn't fall through. And then we simply anchor it by sticking the yarn back over. And we have one petal made. And it's easy, I'm not an embroidery, uh, I'm not perfect at it, so it actually is really fun to do. Now we're going to do the second petal. So we're going to come up through the same hole again. Once again, holding the yarn with our thumb and going back down into the hole. When our petal is the size that we want, we're going to come up through the fabric toward the, the end of that petal. And then we're simply going to go around the petal and back down to anchor it. So we have two done. We're now going to go into the next one. We're gonna come up through the center, down through the center, holding our yarn. You do hear my doggy in the background. That's Otis, he says hello. And wherever we wanna put this petal, then we're going to anchor it. I wanted to put the petal down this way I would anchor it more down over here so here we go that's petal number three now we're going back up into the center back down Anchoring. One last time for our last petal. See how pretty it looks? This one is a little wonky, but that's okay. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now we're gonna come back up through the center and we're going to drop our thick embroidery needle and we are gonna use a thin one. And the reason we're going to do that is because with the buttons that I've selected, the hole wasn't big enough for my, my large needle. So I just re-thread it with a thinner needle 
and push the button through and down and bring our fabric to the back and that gives us the little center. Now we're going to turn it over. We're going to, I actually tied knots, it's okay. Tied a little knot and then wove in these ends. And there you have it, the Lazy Daisy technique with a little hello from my dog Otis.